If you've ever strolled through a grocery store or scrolled through health videos online, you've probably noticed alkaline water being treated like some sort of magical elixir. It's packaged like a luxury product. Celebrities swear by it, and the labels make it sound like it's the secret to glowing skin, boosted energy, and a perfectly balanced body. But what exactly does alkaline even mean? And why are people willing to pay way more for a bottle of water that, at first glance, looks exactly like the regular stuff sitting in your fridge? Today, we're taking a closer look at what alkaline water really is, what makes it different from normal water, and whether it actually delivers on the promises that the hype has built around it, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. The word alkaline refers to the pH level of water. Remember the pH scale from school? It's the measuring stick that tells us how acidic or basic something is, running from 0 to 14. Pure water usually sits right in the middle at a neutral pH of 7. Anything lower than that is acidic. Anything higher is alkaline. Alkaline water typically has a pH of 8 or 9, making it slightly more basic than what normally comes out of your tap. This higher pH can happen naturally, especially when water passes through rocks and picks up minerals. But most bottled alkaline water today is created through machines or filtration systems that artificially increase the pH level. There are two main ways companies produce alkaline water, and neither involves any kind of exotic or complicated magic. The first way is mineral infusion. This is when manufacturers simply add alkaline minerals, like calcium, magnesium, or potassium, to the water. These minerals raise the pH and change the taste slightly. The second method is called electrolyzation or water ionization. This uses a machine that sends an electric charge through the water, separating it into two streams, one acidic and one alkaline. The alkaline stream is what ends up in those bottles you see in the store. While some brands insist this process energizes the water, the science mostly describes it as a straightforward chemical and electrical reaction, not an enchanted transformation. This is where things get interesting. Supporters of alkaline water say it can do everything from neutralizing acid in the bloodstream to reducing inflammation, improving hydration, aiding digestion, and even slowing down aging. The idea is that a more alkaline environment in the body helps counterbalance the acidic foods we eat, like meat, sugar, and processed snacks. If you've ever heard someone say, your body becomes too acidic, they're usually referring to this concept. The problem, however, is that the body doesn't work that simply. Our kidneys and lungs are constantly adjusting our internal pH on their own, and they do it so efficiently that what you drink has very little influence on the overall acidity of your blood. So. Is alkaline water really healthier? Well, the answer is complicated. There are a few studies suggesting that alkaline water may offer specific benefits, but the evidence isn't strong enough to say it's a miracle drink. Some small studies found that alkaline water with a pH of around 8.8 .8 may help reduce acid reflux by deactivating an enzyme involved in creating stomach acid. Others suggest it might help some people stay hydrated slightly better after intense exercise, likely due to the added minerals. But these findings are limited, not universal, and far from enough to claim that alkaline water dramatically improves health. Most doctors and nutrition experts agree that for the average person, regular clean water does the job perfectly well. Alkaline water is generally safe to drink, 
especially when it's simply mineralized. The body is very good at maintaining its balance, so having slightly higher pH water isn't harmful for most people. The only time it becomes a problem is if someone drinks extreme amounts of heavily ionized water, which can occasionally cause alkalosis, a condition where your body's pH becomes too high. Symptoms can include nausea, muscle twitching and confusion, but this is extremely rare and usually only happens from consuming large quantities every day. For the average person who drinks a bottle here and there, there's nothing to worry about except possibly the price tag. At the end of the day, the question isn't just, is alkaline water healthier, but also, is it worth what you're paying for? If you enjoy the taste or feel like it hydrates you better, then there's nothing wrong with choosing it. Some people genuinely prefer the smoother flavor that comes from the added minerals. But it's important to know that most of the bold health claims surrounding alkaline water aren't solidly backed by science. It's not a cure-all. It won't detoxify your body, and it won't magically fix dietary habits. Think of alkaline water as regular water with a twist, not a medical upgrade. Alkaline water has built its reputation on a mix of clever marketing, widespread curiosity, and people's desire for an easy way to boost their health. It's often presented as something special or transformative. But when you strip away the hype, alkaline water is simply water with a higher pH level. While a few studies suggest it may offer mild benefits, like slightly improving hydration for athletes or helping with acid reflux, the evidence isn't strong enough to label it a miracle drink or a major upgrade over regular water. The truth is that your body is already incredibly skilled at keeping your internal pH balanced, thanks to your kidneys and lungs, and this balance stays steady regardless of what kind of water you drink. So while there's nothing wrong with enjoying alkaline water if you like the taste or the trend, it's not a shortcut to better health. The most effective things you can do are still the basics. Drink enough water, eat well, and trust your body to handle the chemistry it's built to manage. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.